Reading scales, level 5, grade E. Now, some scales are fairly straightforward. If we take this first scale, for example, we're going from 2 to 3, and then 4 and 5 on each line. Just looking at it, we would probably guess that each one of these is going to be 0.1, but we really should be careful, make sure it is. So we need to have 10 gaps, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 gaps. So that is a 0.1 scale. So the next number after the 2 is 2.1. And if we were looking at somewhere like this, so that's 3.5, 3.6. And if we had the one before the end of a, just before the next number, then we count back from 5.0 would be 4.9. So that's a nice straightforward scale. Now, quite often when people are reading scales, um, if it's this scale, they have no problem. It's when you, you switch to a different scale um, and then try to read it in the same way. So we've got 0 to 100 and try to maybe think these are 10s, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So if you check a scale by think, think about what it is that you think it is and then just count it through, then you can see whether it's right or not. Now clearly this is not 10 because that should be 50. So that's it has to be twice as big to get to 100. So these need to be 20. So that's going to be 20, 40 and so on, 60, 80, 100. And once you know that, once you know how big the gaps are, the rest of it is fairly straightforward. So this one here is 120, 30, 40, sorry, 120, 100, 120, 140, 160, and so on. Now, some, that's, that's a five gap scale, so they're going up in, in 20s in that case, or if it was on, a, on a, a, a single digit, so if it was going from 0 to 1, they'd be 0.2s. On this sort of scale, um, we've got a mark every two. There's eight eight marks in total. So if you were told that the full was 80, um, and empty is obviously zero, then halfway would be 40. And if you work this sort of thing out, then you should see one, two, three, four gaps. So each one's going to be 10. So it's just a case of being careful, making sure what you think is right actually works, taking the time to make sure that your scale fits nicely along the lines and then you shouldn't have a problem with scales um, unless you've got a weakness with your numbers and decimals and things but generally once you think what it could be try it out if it doesn't work then you either make it bigger or smaller until it does and that's it